Well, only on 13, we're hearing from the mother of an aspiring rapper who was gunned down in the exclusive River Oaks area last week. The 26-year-old went by the name BTB Savage, and just days before he was killed, he did an interview claiming he was involved in killing someone else who tried to rob him. Now his mother thinks that may have led to her son's death. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor is joining us live from downtown with the story. Brooke? Mel, that a uh, rapper who's known as BTB Savage was posting on his social media. He was doing interviews about that deadly robbery just a few months ago. His mother tells me, well, he was just defending himself and didn't deserve to die. She says she tried to beg her son stop posting and stop doing interviews talking about this. Gunned down near River Oaks behind the wheel of a car riddled with bullets. The mom of a 26-year-old rapper known as BTB Savage tells ABC 13 that was her son. Renita Ward says her son's online persona isn't how she knew him. I'm not one of those parents who try to cover up, you know, whatever their children's lifestyle is. To her, he was just Darrell Gentry, his legal name. He served in the military for four years and was a father to a four-year-old son. That's who she says she's most proud of. In February, Ward says her son thought he was going to be featured in a song, his rapping career starting to kick off. Instead, she says a group showed up to his apartment in San Antonio and tried to rob him. Earlier this week, the rapper did an interview with Vlad TV describing how he fought off the would-be robber, instructed his girlfriend to shoot him, and then left him to die. When the interviewer asked if he was concerned about retaliation, he said, quote, they might do what they do, but I'm going to get active. That's all that is. On Thursday, he posted on social media standing in the middle of a bloody crime scene. Hours later, Houston police say he was shot in a drive-by shooting. I said, take that off of social media. I said, let this family mourn in peace. Um, but they were continuing with taunting my son. You know, telling him he was going to get, telling him that they were going to kill the family, that they were going to make his mama cry, like that, like my son made his mother cry. And I told my son, don't respond. But their family member came to rob my son. And now she's forced to mourn the loss of her son, who she tried desperately to keep out of danger. So the moral of this story to me is that two mothers lost two amazing sons and that their children will be raised without fathers. And that's a sad thing. And it was also important for her to spread the message to stop gun violence on the streets, especially to the youth, she tells me. I also did reach out to San Antonio police to get more information about that alleged robbery incident back in February. We are still waiting to hear back, but of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as we find that out. For now, though, we are reporting live outside of Houston police. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.